We're live? All right. Well, as with all of these things, you have to wait a second because there's nobody actually watching for the first minute. So we're going to drag this out as long as humanly possible. We'll sit here and look at the view. We should just sit here and look at the view. But we're actually here today with uh, Shane Reynolds. Uh, this is Mike with 30A. And Shane and I have known each other for, I don't know, maybe 10 years? I'd say it's a good 10. I remember meeting Ramona and Madra uh, yeah. a long time ago and they were doing some photography for one of the local magazines. That's when I first met them and then I met you pretty soon thereafter. But uh, Shane is an incredible um, friend but also an incredible guest because Shane has uh, an incredible story to share. You've been traveling around the world with the Cousteaus, um, going to all of these exotic locations. Um, I'm gonna let Shane talk all about that, but we want you guys to ask questions, okay? Because Shane has had a show on Nash, uh, Nat Geo Wild, yeah. right? Shane Untamed. In fact, he's the only person to ever have a show named after him on the, the National Geographic Network. That's yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why they did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they were putting the liability on you. Yeah, yeah, should things so. go wrong. Right. But uh, so Shane is an incredible videographer and explorer. Um, we want you to be able to ask questions live. We have Charlie and the team over here um, reading your questions and we'll relay them to Shane. But Shane, tell us, uh, so you started a videography company that enables um, businesses to hire you and to deploy really small units, right? right. Out to, but still get world-class yeah. videographers. So tell me a little bit about why that evolved. Uh, well, basically, you know, I, I, I've always loved to travel and, and you know, I've always love to, to shoot uh, in, in various environments so uh, back in the day it was just it wasn't feasible for me to really travel with a production crew so I had to figure out how to kind of do it as a one-man band kind of thing and that that's evolved since uh, I started Color Earth in 2002 and um, you know we, we've just kind of grown this niche of uh, streamlined production content so it's uh, so you know. companies hire you to go all over the world, sometimes from a sponsor, sponsorship mm -hmm. uh, perspective, sometimes it's, it's from a really capturing something for the first time. But like, so tell me some of the commercial things you've done. Like I know you and Ramona, y'all went to Ireland one time or different places, right? Man, it's, it's different all the time. I mean, we've done uh, contract work to do uh, lifestyle videos for, for V Magazine. We've done uh, online series for Travel Channel. Um, uh, our own broadcast primetime series for Nat Geo, like you said, um, also for Travel Channel. We've just been, over the last two years, running around with, the, with Philippe and Ashlyn Cousteau looking for treasure all over the Caribbean and South America and the Gulf. Um, we just did some surveying of some new land in Saudi Arabia uh, for the Crown Prince under the Cousteaus that, um, you know, it's just that they're, they're hoping to develop for tourism. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where um, in this day and age, it's, it's hard to find someone that, that, you know, shoots underwater, which is a very specific skill set, sure. right, that, that can also fly a drone and that's FAA certified or, or, and, and shoot on land. You know, right. typically, if you can do one, you're not very proficient in the other. So. And who happens to have a wife that's a world-class right. photographer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that goes yeah. along, yeah. 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 So guys, if you're tuning in late, we're here with Shane Reynolds of Color Earth. Shane has been um, all over the world. We're gonna talk about some of the places he's visited, but most recently got back from Saudi Arabia where the Crown Prince had invited you and the team to come um, capture for the first time some land and some, some sea that has never been seen before really by, by most people. So tell me a little bit about what, what that's about. There, I can't get into, into too much of it, yeah. but uh, it, he didn't invite me personally. He invited uh, you know the Cousteau's uh, company, Voyacy. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're working on you know helping consult to, to you know develop this area in in Saudi that they hope will bring tourism. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's on the Red Sea. It's it's absolutely pristine coral reef. Like I. I <laughs> The diving we did there, I, we were looking for a coral that was dead and couldn't find any. It was absolutely world-class diving. Um, and it's never been touched, really. Yeah, no. lunar landscapes, mm -hmm. uh, just everywhere you look, it, it was uh, really, really spectacular. So we're hoping that that kind of develops into something that, you know, it's a big project that they're undergoing. So, um, you know, we're hoping to continue to be a, pro a part of it. 
So guys, you're able to ask questions. We're live with Shane Reynolds of Color Earth. Uh, please shout out your questions, but um, if you don't have them, uh, go ahead and um, post any later and we'll be going on and answering them um, with Shane later. Uh, that said, um, Shane, tell me some of the favorite places you've gone uh, in, in your travels. Um, you know, that's the, the main question I get is kind of where's your favorite place and, and everywhere it kind of has a, a different place in your heart. Sure. <laughs> you know, uh, Ireland is one of my favorite countries just for the, the road trip capabilities of it, uh, the accessibility of it, and the remoteness yeah. that you can find yourself there. Um, uh, New Zealand is just one of those, just when it comes to big country, that mm -hmm. you, you can't really beat it. Um, some of your photos from, uh, were you in Madagascar? Or, or you were in, uh, where were you? That, I remember some of the photos, the one that Ramona recently got on. Yeah, that was Madagascar, mm -hmm. and she, uh, yeah, they, they, I think that was on Thrill List, and she also had another one in, in Egypt that was uh, printed in a, in a Nat Geo book, Life in Color. Nice. And, uh, and that one really, I'd, I'd have to say pound for pound Egypt is, is my wife and I's, both of our favorite. Country. Really? Yeah, of, of all the places we've been. How long has it been since you've been there? It's been, it's coming up on 10 years now. Okay. But we did, a, we did an expedition through there, I think in 2009, that, uh, I mean, it took us from Sinai through uh, the Nile, through surfing in the Mediterranean to scuba diving oases in the Sahara and sandboarding and kite. I mean, it was, we went 2,000 miles into the desert and, wow. you know, just spent two months seeing everything there. And, and just when you, pound for pound, it's, uh, you know, the, the culture, the adventure, the beauty, the <laughs> it, it pretty much has everything. Yeah. So guys, we're live. You're able to ask questions. Uh, we also want you to shout out where you're watching from. Charlie, do we have a question? Uh, yes. Kellyanne says she's been following a while and she would like for you to talk about traveling with kids. Traveling with kids. Do you do that? Uh, we do that. Yes. I have a <laughs> five-year-old named Elsie and who is, uh, we, she's five and a half now. She's Got seven or eight countries on her passport already. Not bad. Uh, she's been to Taiwan and Japan, and uh, she's been to Ireland. She's, uh, you know, and, and I would just say, before I had kids, I think I, I was always kind of that person who was like, I'm not traveling with my kid until they're like eight years old so or so old enough to where they can appreciate, appreciate it and, and know what's going on. But, uh, you know, once I had a kid, it was... Uh, you know, it's just like, well, I, I, don't, I really don't care how old she is. I really want her to go and start seeing this stuff. And, and, I'm, and I'm glad I did because it's, it's really, you know, she's an amazing traveler. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a handful. But when it comes to traveling, you know, she can sit on a 14-hour flight. No problem. No problem. No problem. She can sit on a, in a road trip. You know, anytime she gets to go on the airplane or on a road trip or whatever, she's... She's easy, so uh, so yeah. It's um, you know, and we're but we are trying to stay with one kid <laughs> because overhead compartment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, only one day. Yeah, one, once we have two kids, and then I think that whole dynamic is going to get a little more complicated. So guys, we're live. If you're tuning in late, we're with Shane Reynolds from Color Earth. He's been traveling all over the globe, exploring exotic habitats. Most recently with the Cousteaus, um, exploring some new places, untouched, pristine habitats in Saudi Arabia. So where are some of the places you haven't been that are high on your list? I the cold places. I need to get to Greenland. Okay. And I've been really pushing to get that done for a long time, and. Um, and we seem to be getting closer. Uh, Antarctica, obviously, okay. I want to do that. Uh, and then some just random places that I should have been by now. Like I have not been to Thailand yet. Yeah. I, sh you know, I've been to Taiwan. I've been to I've been to North Korea. You know, right, right. <laughs> I haven't been to Thailand. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. So uh, there's a few that I need to check off the 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 typical bucket list, and then there's the uh, the more obscure one that yeah that. that that's okay. I always tell people that, you know, you can do, and no, no, not knocking Europe, but you can do Europe when you're in your 60s or 70s. You yeah. Know, go, go yeah. knock out some, yeah, yeah. go, go get Mongolia. Off <laughs> right, the list, right. Right. Go exactly. get, go get, uh, uh Burkina Faso, <laughs> yeah. you know, off yeah. the list and, and do France yeah. when you're older, yeah. you know? Um, but that said, we have talked about Spain before you guys love Spain. Oh, I love it. Uh, Barcelona is, is, 
Ramona and I's city, you know, that's kind of where we started our, our relationship and, you know, and just kind of road trip through Catalonia and, you know, up through San Sebastian and Mendaka and all those areas. Like Spain is, is incredible. I, I did a trip there with my mom as well years ago, uh, like Madrid and mm -hmm. Cordoba and Sevilla and uh, just Spain is spectacular. And, it, and it's one of those countries where if you, if you go to somewhere like Great Britain or, or Ireland, you, you can drive around that thing in a week or two and really see a lot. And then you get to Spain and you're like, man, Spain is a lot bigger mm -hmm. <laughs> than, than I thought it was. Yeah. So now if, um, by the way, guys, if you have questions, please shout them out. Uh, please also just shout out where you're watching from. I know we'd love to, to hear um, from our fans all over the world. That said, Shane, um, if you are giving advice to some of our young interns, you know, you grew up in Fort Walton, right? So you grew up right here. You're still living here. How is it that you go from being a, a surfer in Fort Walton, uh, Florida? How do you end up getting on the, the radar with companies like Nat Geo Wild? And how do you start hanging out with the Cousteaus, one of the most famous uh, exploration names in the business? I mean, how does that happen? Um, I mean, th there's a level of persistence involved with as with anything that you know as long as you just keep doing something if you if you establish that you're good at something and you keep doing it eventually things will mm -hmm. will come out of it um but for me i i did move to nashville for a few years and and that kind of opened the door more in a in this market in entertainment because, industry because, yeah, yeah because it's not much of a market here to break into right um, so, you know, you, you definitely do need to kind of spend a little bit of time in a, in a reasonable market for what you're trying to achieve. And, um, you know, I, and I just kept doing it, you know, like it, persistence I, is key. I, I, I really, I is. think there's a lot of people that, that especially in this day and age that like, as soon as things get tough or, you know, something bad happens or a job falls through, it's just like, eh, screw it. I'll, I'll go back to <laughs> work in the drive-thru I don't know but right. um, it, for me it, when I was just doing local commercials it, when I came back from Nashville and, and literally just knocking on doors to like hey can we do a little commercial for you for Beach TV or something like that you know it was it was exciting to me mm -hmm. you know it, it was even though a lot of those things it, they paid virtually nothing or, or a lot of times they fell through it was just it was fun to be out and kind of doing my own thing mm -hmm. so whether or not I was succeeding at it or not wasn't really the goal it was well I mean you, you kind of created this dream life because I was thinking about weren't you and Ramona hired to go maybe it was through Ireland by Blackberry or somebody to kind of just go through and document your travels yeah that was through Verizon mm -hmm. I think is what you're talking about that was a a travel channel project we did in in Ireland for uh, Verizon. Like, so y'all just drove around and documented and took photos yeah, and videos so and used, vlogged. Used the phone and everything. I think that's a pretty common thing nowadays with influencers and sure. things like that. But that that wasn't happening at the time. That was probably like twelve years ago, something like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, and, and and you know when Ramona and I met, we were both living. We were both. He's 28, 29, like when we established that we were boyfriend and girlfriend, <laughs> we were, I was, it was like my 30th birthday and we were both living at our mom's, mm -hmm. you know, like we weren't, mm -hmm. you know, she was working, managing at a restaurant and I was, I, I actually think she was waiting tables at a restaurant and I was just kind of shooting local commercials and trying to earn enough money to yeah. buy my own gear and get things going. So, you know, we've, we've definitely built, you know, pretty crazy mm -hmm. lifestyle yeah since then. I, would say, <laughs> I would say so guys uh, if you're tuning in really late you're gonna have to start the video all over at the beginning because we've been spending time with Shane Reynolds of color earth um, we've got a link to his Facebook page here or we're gonna have a link to his Instagram you do Instagram as well all yeah. the we do uh, Instagram for the photos which is a lot of I use a lot of Ramona shots okay um, and that all feeds over to the, the Facebook page and, and most of my videos sit on uh, on my YouTube page. And yeah. You can find all of them on our website. Yeah. And what's the website? Uh, colorearth.tv. 
colorearth.tv. And um, you can also go back and find uh, Shane Untamed, I'm sure, on, on, right. is it on Netflix, is it on uh, Hitmate, wherever it is, <laughs> search on Google, <laughs> search on the interweb for Shane yeah. Untamed, and uh, go back and check out some of the series, because that, that was a super cool moment yeah, at the time, that really was. Series. Um, so uh, where are we off to next, do you think? What you got planned? Uh, I'm trying to get my wife to leave the daughter at home so we can go do a little little Caribbean exploration okay. for our 10 year anniversary that just happened in, in May. So, uh, you know, we, we were supposed to do that trip already, but the Saudi thing came up. So we, we shifted gears. Yeah. And would that just be just for fun or would that be something that, that you one's going to be for fun? Business? Okay. That one's going to be for fun. So, uh, but hopefully, you know, at this point we just wrapped with Caribbean pirate treasure season two. Okay. Uh, which is the Cousteau show on travel channel. And, um, and so when does that so come out? That comes out June thirteenth, I believe, and uh, and so it's a season, a full season. It's a full season, yep. uh, season two, and and this one is is you know a lot different from last season, just in the sheer just uh, ruggedness of the environments that we were going to. It was a it was a lot tougher diving, a lot tougher transport, things like that. Um, but while those things are are going on while I'm waiting on a premiere of another season. I'm trying to keep things open, you know, yeah. uh, uh, just in case we, we should know hopefully by the end of June that, you know, season three is coming out. So, um, you know, when, when I'm at this phase, mm -hmm. I, I try to uh, do local projects and keep things simple. Sure. So, uh, you know, once that opportunity arises, it's, yeah. You know, so let me ask you a question. I got to know that, that, you know, I watch a lot of these shows. I watch the Anthony Bourdain's. Mm -hmm. I watch the Somebody Feed Phil and all these different yeah. shows. When they're out, you know, uh, when you guys are out filming a show like this, to what degree are you uh, going in, you're filming something, and you're back at the five-star hotel eating bonbons, or are you out in the tent out in the middle of the Sahara? You know, like to what degree, what, what percentage is what? I, I've done both. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it really just depends on the project, but I think, I think this day and age, it's kind of easy to tell. Mm -hmm. I mean, even, and I, it's easy for me to say that, but I think even just regular viewers can look, and if it's, if it's super polished and things are just happening and there's a, you know, that camera is just waiting in the bushes. <laughs> in the right spot, in, yeah. In the, for the perfect shot of yeah. the arrival, then you know that's being, yeah, it's being stage. put together. You know, sure. um, uh, but if things are just haphazard and just all over the place trying to capture what's going on, I think that's obvious too. So uh, what, what we try to do is find somewhere in the middle. So mm -hmm. it's kind of aesthetically pleasing and, you know. It's You're not wasting their time. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, I get it. I yeah. get it. Well, guys, uh, if you do have questions, please post them. We'll be watching the comments section, and uh, Shane, I'm sure, will be jumping on to field any questions you have. But um, we're also going to be doing a follow-up video to this, and we're going to include some B-roll from uh, Shane's explorations. And you can find out more information at colorearth.tv. You can check him out on Instagram, and probably YouTube is not a bad place to look for you, too. Yeah, I'm all over YouTube. All right, guys. All right, man. Thanks. Can't wait to see your adventures. Thanks, Mike. Good all to right, see you. Bye, guys.